Hey guys, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do these little airbrush hearts. You're gonna need a gel polish in whatever color you would like. And then you're gonna need a matte top coat and you absolutely need a matte top coat. Um, if you wanna do a glossy, you can use glossy and a white. So, we're gonna start off by using um, that color that you want. We're gonna go through and draw out your design, whatever it may be. I'm using Maxed Out by Not Polish, but you guys can use any color you wish. I've seen people do it in, in um, blue and it's so cute too. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna draw these hearts Hearts are so hard for me to do because they always come out like lopsided, <laughs> but they ended up looking good. So Yeah, add as many hearts as many stars as you want and Then we'll move on to the next step But yeah, like I was saying at the beginning of the video make sure to subscribe we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers and which I'm doing a huge giveaway I'm gonna be giving away the not polished um, kit there want the bundle they have that's um, has files it has monomer it has nail tips and I believe it's five powders so that's gonna be the giveaway and I am gonna include, I believe it's six or seven of the Zoe powders. I do have another giveaway I will be doing on Monday. Um, and on Monday, I'm announcing my current giveaways winner. So stay tuned for that. Um, on Monday, I am gonna be giving away that, I'm doing the poly gel kit. Yeah, guys, here you'll see me struggling a little bit with those hearts, but <sighs> they ended up looking good. <laughs> so, um, I know there's probably many different ways to do these, but this is the easiest way I found to do them. So I wanted to share with you guys. I know it's like a big trend right now and a lot of people are doing it. So, yeah, I'm going to let you guys... Uh, finish watching me do this step and I will be back once I finish that up now we're going to cure that um, I'm curing them for 30 seconds um, next what you want to do is take that matte top coat and we're gonna mix that up with that pink and that's what's gonna give you the lighter pink and it gives it almost like a faded out look it's super pretty it's just mix 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 Now, um, we're gonna go in and let me show you. This is what it looks like. We're gonna go in and outline 
basically all of our design. So that's cured. And right here, I'm gonna show you. You're just gonna wanna go um, all around those hearts, basically. You see what I mean? Like it gives it that really pretty like faded out look. And you're just gonna wanna do that to all of your hearts and stars. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you and move on to the next step. This is what it should look like. Now we're gonna go back in and cure that for another 30 seconds. The next step is going in and doing your highlights. So just take your white gel polish. Once that's done curing, we're gonna start doing the highlights. So then this is what it looks like after it's cured. Then all you wanna do is just add random highlights through everything. If I could have changed the way I did this, I honestly would have just done a dot in the middle of all my crosses. I think it would look a lot cuter. So um, yeah, but if you guys like the way this one looks, then go ahead and just do it like I did. But I think I would just do a dot right in the center next time with the white. I think it would look a lot better. So yeah guys, this is basically it. Um, what I was saying at the beginning is that you guys can use a glossy coat, but you guys definitely need that matte coat to get that faded out look. Um, but as far as what you put on at the very end is up to you. I personally love the matte look, so right now I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, and I'm using the matted by Not Polish, so. Alright, so now that it's cured... Um, I was gonna show you guys what it would look like glossy, but so now that the white is cured, I'm just gonna go in with my matte top coat and we're all done. We're just gonna cure that and I will show you what that looks like. This is basically what it would look like with that glossy top coat if you like that. I mean, it is really pretty, but I've been into matte lately, so here's what this looks like all done and it's so pretty i love it um i hope you guys try this out and if you do please tag me on your instagram pictures i'd love to see you guys try it um but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video and that'll probably be monday so see you next time